Hey guys, Iron Wolf here. Um, today I'm going to be making my uh, my first ever World of Warcraft video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and bear with me. Um, this is my first video, of course, just in general, but this is my first World of Warcraft focused video. I've been streaming this game a lot. Um, I've been putting in a lot of practice and whatnot on uh, private servers and to try and get myself ready for WoW Classic, and I'll be maining the Warlock class, and uh, I kind of want to go over some things with you guys about Warlock duo leveling. Um, so duo leveling, in my opinion, is the uh, best way to level for most classes in the game. Uh, I guess the exception would be like a hunter, you know, because um, a solo hunter is usually going to beat out whatever else you can throw. Um, but uh, I think Warlocks are one of the strongest duo leveling classes in the game. Uh, I don't know a uh, I know a YouTuber named Cargos has made a bunch of videos about that, about Warlocks and duo leveling in general. You guys have probably heard of him. He's really popular. Um, I'm a part of his guild right now, uh, Invictus. i um, been talking a lot with him and a few other really good Warlock players and getting some feedback and ideas. And I kind of want to give you guys a basic, like, skeleton build, I guess. No undead pun intended um, for, uh, for Warlock duo leveling. So here's what I mean by that. So let me pull up my talents here. So basically this is what I think, and of course this isn't always going to be the case because there are some duos where you know you want to go into this or you know you want to go into that. But generally speaking, um, and y you know, the build can determine, uh, can be determined different ways based off of like uh, how you and your duo partner play together. For example, um, let's say most people say in this duo you should build into this. Let's say you go Deep Affliction. Um, but let's say you and your partner don't really have a play style that really benefits or complements that. So you might have to come up with something else. Um, this is kind of a good skeleton build to give you an idea of... Like, basically, while you're leveling, you want to try and identify how you and your partner play together and how your play style goes. But you, you maybe you don't know where to put your points in just yet. So basically, this is kind of like a, I guess you could say a go-to, like an obvious must-have um, build for any, just about any duo. So this is what your talents will look like by level 34. This is, I would say, you know, you've gotten past the early stages of leveling. You're getting into the harder brackets. Um, and this is where uh, you and your partner's playstyle really start to come into play. Um, so what I mean by that is, you know, you can get through Barons, Ashen Veil, Stone Talon, Thousand Needles, and whatnot, just gooning around, you know, having fun and um, not being too picky about your playstyle, and you can kind of get away with some things. But as you get into the higher brackets, you kind of want to have a refined, like, refined strategy and synergy between you and your partner and your class and your partner's class. Um, so this is kind of a, a good uh, build to get you going. So I'll start going over it. I'll stop rambling on. Um, but here we got seven points in affliction. Um, this is kind of up to you based off of how you like to play. If you like to play more mobile, you can do five points in improved corruption um, and then go into improved life tap. But for me personally, I like to get the two points in suppression to give me that extra insurance because I don't mind. Because uh, three points in improved corruption, um, you know, the cast time for corruption is about the same time as the GCD. So it's, it's not too bad. You can still pretty much get an instant cast off right after that. So this is what I like to do. 2 in Suppression, 3 in Corruption. Like I said, you can do 5 in Corruption if you want it to be instant. And then, of course, you go into Improved Life Tap. Because you always want to be tapping uh, tapping life so that you can just keep your downtime to a minimum. Demonology. Um, so, the best pet, I would say, in most duos is going to be the Imp. Um, he just brings insane amounts of DPS, insane amounts of utility and buffs and whatnot to the table. His Fire Shield and Blood Pact, Stamina Buff. Um, all that uh, he's he's a really really strong pet for a duo. So I would say for this you're gonna want to put three points in improved imp so that his firebolt can be pumping out even more damage and it can make his um, uh, blood pack even stronger and the fire shield. So that's that's you know a bonus right there. And then uh, two out of two improved hellstone. The reason you want this is because in my opinion is because you can really help out you and your partner by basically giving him free ma uh, health pots, you know? Uh, which is really, really, really handy. Um, if So long as you're just keeping keeping up with your shards, you can just be pumping out essentially like really strong health pots really, really, really early on uh, in the game. Um, so that's why I think uh, this is a this is pretty useful. Because if you, get in a, you or your partner get in a bad situation, you can just pop that health stone and be close to full health, honestly. 
Okay, now here we go into uh, the destruction tree. We're going 13 points in here. Um, I do improve Shadow Bolt because I like to, per personally, I like to cast a lot of Shadow Bolts when I'm doing, or just leveling with, uh, with the Imp in general. Um, but I do know some people like to go Cataclysm. It's completely up to you. Um, if you find yourself using, uh, like, maybe Emulate or Searing Pain a lot more, then you, maybe you want to do this. Um, or if you just don't want to be spending as much mana with your Shadow Bolts. But I pretty much am always just dotting and Shadow Bolting, so I went with Improved Shadow Bolt. And then you're going to want to go with 5 out of 5 Bane. The reason for this being, you can pump out Shadow Bolts and Emulates a lot faster. Uh, Soul Fire as well, but I don't really use that very much while leveling. Um, so 5 out of 5 Bane for sure. 2 out of 2 Improved Firebolt. Um, this right here is an insane talent. It's insanely good for your imp. Your imp can be casting insanely fast like crazy. Um, I believe it's a one second cast time when you uh, put 2 out of 2 in here uh, on the imp's firebolt. So that combined with the improved imp, your imp is like a little turret and it does insane amounts of DPS. And then Shadowburn. This is just a very, very, very strong talent in my opinion. This ability is insane. It's like an execute and if you can kill a target with it basically um, you get a soul shard, which is even nice, so it basically pays for itself. And it's really good for like sealing the deal on mobs. Like, let's say you've your dots have expired, and your t your partner wants to like be playing really aggressive and move on to the next target. He can start pulling the next mob, and you can just shadow burn the target you guys were just on, finish him off, and then start redotting the next target. It's like really good for closing out mobs. So this is what I, I usually do when I level Warlocks uh, in a duo most of the time, especially if I'm with someone that I'm not too familiar with. Of course, if you and your partner are dedicated to practicing, you might have figured out how you're going to play uh, come Classic. But this is just kind of like to get you started, like to give you an, an idea of, all right, this is a basic uh, like point that I need to reach, and then from there I can kind of decide if I want to branch off, maybe go into Demonology, get Demonic Sacrifice or something, or if you want to get SM, or if you want to get Ruin, you know, from here you can kind of work out where you want to go based off of you and your partner's playstyle together. Um, so it was just a quick little video, guys. I kind of wanted to make this for a while now. I've been discussing a lot of Warlock leveling strats with uh, some, some really good players. I hope you appreciate it. I would love some feedback. Like I said, this is my first World of Warcraft uh, oriented video. Um, I stream a lot. I'll leave that in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great day.